hard to pull off to be honest Five just, what the enemy what the attack. atlas has to do is just stun someone put him in place use the ultimate then tempest of blade that's going to be two layers of disables and that's going to be enough time for the link to take down someone and uh by the way uh it does look like in a in uh, in an easier in, in an easier sense to understand the composition it's about the the team fights no? The team fights and the skirmishes that can be done here by Sinag Pilipinas, whereas the pressure from NXP. They, they still have the PMK. Remember that. And that is true. So, Shinbu looking at it, they're really trying to go for the invade here. And they're just trying to annoy and next play Predator Solid. I don't think they're aiming, you know, to. What do you call this? Steal? Or get the buff on the side? They're just, they just want to stop them on their tracks. So that Kronos can get early rain to can get the be earlier level 4 spike, then just probably win from there. And looking at Natalia here, this is the information that they need. Like, it's really good that if you're starting off with this, Yaoi getting caught out and look oh. at this damage output. Korai on the other hand, one yeah. for one trade, but Yaoi will be the first blood. But you have to remember that the one who got the final hit was H2O for that part, for that dive. That was yeah. very risky. Chester did really well on actually greeting them with a, with that wild charge on the Grok. Knock up even under turret. I'm not so sure if somebody got a hit from uh, uh, under the turret, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's still these two teams, they're out for blood with a little lead here for the side of Sinag Pilipinas. They still want to snowball uh, Kronos in. So it is Kronos and uh, Yukio Kozuke would be onto the, on that joint. Mm. So they're uh, converging up top, not really caring about what's happening to the bottom lane. They know that X board can't be bullied out of lane just because of the innate un uh, an innate damage output that he has. And once the once the Firaga armor is down on his side, he's just gonna use the flicker to get away. But here comes uh and here comes an attempt for the side of Sinag Pilipinas. They kinda wasted their time there. So that's a win for next play predator solid. Next play predator, yeah. Okay, they're grouping again as you see that Sinag Pilipinas still is very much willing to take this fight in. Of course Kronos was jumping around the walls. And I, I think Yaoi is just holding on to that ultimate. Yep, available ultimate still for Yaoi. But he didn't cast that one, making sure that H2 was within range to follow up before he used that divine judgment. Mm-hmm. H2O, he's just annoying. He's just getting annoyed by Tiki. And that's the thing about the Ling and Lancelot matchup is that they can burst, they can burst each other down. Yeah. But the thing uh, is, but, yes. But the thing is, Shin, Tiki is the chess piece that makes Kronos better than the Lance on the other side. Because once the silence hits Lancelot, it just goes down from there. But right now, Tempest of Blades will connect and look at this, Chester and the others just tanking up a lot of damage. Yaoi here with the presence of mind going straight for Kronos. Kronos will go down and that is going to be a big win for the side of next play Predator Solid. Why? Because Lancelot lived. Yep, yep, let's see here, Denver. Let's see if we can get the jump onto MB. A few hits here and there, ladies and gentlemen. Torch back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still that Rams will be able to walk away from that fight. By the way, guys, I just want to inform you that the uh, RGL is actually an international broadcast. So, despite us having a Filipino team taken on against another Filipino team, we have to do this uh, commentary in uh, English. All right, so. I'm uh, telling bear I'm with telling us. You guys. Uh, bear with us as we bear with each other. Yes. Uh, barely, bar barely barely <laughs> bearing with each other so yes. uh, we, we did say that we did say earlier that if you comment there uh why we won't we speak in tagalog you're just wasting your time <laughs> yeah, I, 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 again uh, uh there, this is an english broadcast so we have, we have no choice ladies and gentlemen well and yeah. focusing into the game again this is gonna be the next play predator able to actually offset the lead established by the members of Sinag Pilipinas H2 will continually getting the snowball to the kills that they want as 2 zero one is already in the hands of this Lancelot Divine Judgment to be casted here against Korai of course Korai will be using 
here's Octopus just to make that escape as the pressure is on coming in from that Popolin Chupa. Here is the pressure of Next Play Predator. It's getting getting more and more established. But look at that. Denver actually step up against that fight with that X board. Of course, H2O along with the Grok will be backing it up here into the bottom lane, getting that revenge kill against Denver. Now, no space was capitalized on there by the members of Cena Filipinas. Okay, so I don't. I don't really have a grasp on how this game is gonna go. I, I just see H2O having a good time. And killing Spree will be will be the edge that he has against uh, Kronos. Because this is 100% a Ling versus Lancelot matchup. Whoever has the best assassination capability will 100% win this match. And they go inside. Look at this setup. Turtle has been slain. Atlas will steal it. Wow. Yeah. Now we will be the next target. But he, Cora, Kronos just gets away. He knows that he doesn't have the capability to fight. And look oh at my H2O. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh, super fresh, super fine. He's not even gonna care about anything in the world because he doesn't even take that. Damage killing spree. What a good talent to take. By the way, it's not just H2O. It's not just actually H2O. Um, it's also Rene J. He has been dishing a big amount of damage amidst ah. this fight. And it does look like that uh, Kronos is not able to complete any assassination that he, wa that he should be doing with this link against the backline here of the members of Next Play Predator. Solely, they did realize that the Papua Cupa is alone onto the bottom lane side. Gorai tries to corner Rene J. But they will be left with the dog. Dog here focusing on the Kronos step a blade to be casted here. He has one free dash, tries to be some damage, goes for the back line, and here comes H2O, went for the job, and a Ling was able to escape. Nicely done there coming in from that Ling. And Kaja will go down. Denver here gets the right amount of damage onto that bird. So, Shin, Renegy has been keeping Ling at bay for quite some time now. Mm. And the thing is, Renegy has been really smart in just, you know, pinpointing yeah. the location of the Ling. You have to give it up for him. Korai, on the other hand, has been very aggressive in terms of just going for the initiation. By the way, yeah, that was just uh, that was a misposition, right? Yes, that world. was the misposition. That was a misposition. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And now you don't see that. Be good. Yeah, you don't, yeah, see, you that. don't you see, really see that on H2O. You, you don't see those mistakes on these players. Like, these players, they really know what they want to do and when they want to do it. Denver, that is a fighter tab. Oh my god, yeah. That is a fighter tabs. And also, I just want to mention that because of H2O getting lost, they're losing pressure as well on this bottom lane and also oh. top lane. Oh! The Kaja isn't Rene J. I've been... <laughs> I've been seeing Rene yeah, J yeah. the Kaja for quite some time, so it's Yawi. Yawi, Yawi, yes. Yawi, yes. Yawi. He's, do he's been doing great. I mean, I praised Rene J, but I'm gonna praise Yawi too. He's been keeping that link at bay. So, you have to give it up for these people, because Kronos, look at his kill, kill uh, KDA. It's still at 1-1-2. So you can't really say that he's winning this fight against H2O, H2O yeah, yeah. at 6 one two. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it does. It's still far, actually. If we consider the gold, I would believe that it's still higher onto the pockets of H2O. But again, for the team gold, though, it, it, uh, oh, oh, on the team gold, it's quite even, actually. I think it does look like over the first, uh, past few minutes, it was uh, I, the, the gold has been flowing in favor of uh, Sinek Filipinas. Mm-hmm. Denver here just tanking up whatever MP is throwing at him. And that is a bit funny. Tiki here tanking up the tower, uh, the turret shots. Kronos going in. They really want to take down this immortality charge because they know they're going to have an easier time later. MB, the pop is there, but he's not going to get anyone. And that is going to be two kills without any help from his team. Okay, right. so Korai... Korai, that... Oh! Whoa, Denver! Denver almost, almost getting away, but Denver here is going to be a casualty of war, probably a straggler of war there on the side of uh, NXP. I don't know, man. I, I you, you could have run. You could have ran to the other bush if you wanted to, but he just... 
I just stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not so sure though. Hadi, Hadi, Ron. I think the especially with the minions, I think it's the one and get the 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 chase onto mm. him. But at least he could have bought time, right? He yeah, he bought, bought time. time. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly the main idea. If you run. You're really taking people away. And looking at the map right now, the Lord is at one second. That could have been the difference between him standing there and him running away from that fight. And yes. and Thames is really capable of running away at times. Uh, let's hear. Uh, actually, H2 will get zoned out here by Kore. Actually, curious about the impact of Tiki. He's still on this late game team fights. For the most part, it is unclear who still has the lead. But the pressure, and also the pressure, also the pressure. Look at that, Denver tries to go for the jump. I guess the a popular cube, but the Ling also was in onto the bottom lane. And now we got uh, H2O. He knows that he can actually fence here with Korai. And uh, things are looking pretty gloomy for the side here of Sinek Filipinas. All of their healths are actually dropped below mid, below 50%. But Tiki now zoning out. Yawi, Divine Judgment, under the turret. Tiki now trying to buy some time. Why not need it though? Why not need it? <laughs> it does look like that is a mistake there by the Natalia. And uh, yeah, Kor right here trying to get away. Kronos onto the back line trying to take down H2O. H2O gets knocked up. And let us see, will he get away? H2O doesn't need to get away. H2O just needs to take you down. And that is the difference between the Ling and the Lancelot. Next play here, just going straight for the Lord. This is what they needed. Look at Denver. He's just trying to get away. Indeed, indeed ladies and gents. Look at that. Okay, now they're gonna be taking on the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're still trying to establish pressure, but that is a big objective in favor of a team next play predator. If they make the most of this Lord, they're gonna be setting themselves to push this game to a game number three. To push this series to a game number three. Okay, okay. Chester. Oh, Chester. This is a bad position. Don't worry yeah. uh, that drop. But here comes the Papalin Cupa. Remember that the top lane is also being pushed by the Lord members here of Team Next Play Predator starting to converge onto the mid lane side. They want to open up something. You have to remember that Yaoi has this ultimate on and won't estimate on actually taking taking um, any tank up for that side as long. With this Tershoom, the Lord is up top and it's marching forward. Let's see. That isn't what they needed here. If you're on the side of Sinag Pilipinas, Yukio Kazuki with that pickoff, he just goes down. For I right here trying to go in, but look at look at H2O. He just goes in, not caring about the tempest of blades. He just yeah. dashes out. Then we're yeah. here getting uh, getting bit by the Chichu dog, and that Chichu <laughs> dog will 100% be painful because Ren J has the items, he has the avarice, he doesn't need the kills he just needs to hit the enemy team yeah no. he just needs to hit the enemy team but of course this is just getting extended for his game ladies and gentlemen it doesn't matter unstoppable double kill triple kill and that's the game it will be close even the members of next play predator headed on by h2o 1-1 on the series we have a game three